moments away, they gather at the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia. The Suns take it on the 76ers. For Phoenix, what a nice start to the campaign, winning four of their first five. Sixers, Suns, only on 2K Sports. Welcome to 2K Sports. We have the NBA coming up. Great to have you with us. Alongside Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg, I'm Brian Anderson. All right, now the opening lineup for Phoenix. Uh, Kogi and Durant, they're the forwards. Manning the backcourt, it's Beal and Booker. And it's the chosen one, in at the five. And for Philadelphia, Tucker and Embiid make up the front court. James Harden out there with Maxi, And it's Harris in at the three. Well, Clark taking a glance at the makeup of both rosters, what stands out is how many veterans there are on each team. Yeah, it's pretty obvious, B.A., that both of these coaches really value veteran experience. I mean, guys that can produce on the court but also help mentor the younger player. That's going to be over and back, not watching the line on that one. Now Harden. Harris outside. Second chance shot. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That's Clearly an MVP caliber talent now. MB continues to impress with his versatility on both ends. A man that big shouldn't be able to do the stuff that he does with the ball. And the first one at the line is good. And one of the more imposing guys at the center position, Joel Embiid. As unique a player as we've got in the league in terms of his size, just mammoth, and his agility and skill level. So special for a guy of his size. His production is absolutely crazy. Perennial MVP candidate now and perhaps for several years to come. Man, that's why Booker is one of the best passers in our game. And so it's Maxi with it. He brings it up for Philadelphia. Pass to Harden. Driving inside. Count it. One for one to start the game. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Here's Okogi. Pounded by Harris. Now here's Booker. Last game for him, he picked up 10. Shot clock at three. From deep. Rebounded by James Harden. Now Philadelphia with it. Maxi surveys. Pass to Embiid. Low block shot. And he parries his first look. Even when the defense is there, I mean, Embiid still knows how to score. The assist from and here's Durant. Maxi. To the middle. Here's the chosen one. Excellent D there from Embiid. For Philadelphia, they've gone two of three from the floor. Beal against Harden. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. Defense has problems with Harden inside. He can make those close shots appear easy. Outside Durant. It's Booker on the wing. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Grant, usually the Suns rack up lots of assists. They're a team that values ball movement. Oh, B.A., that's how you create quality looks. By snapping the ball around, it also tells you something about how selfless these guys are. That free throw good from Booker. It seems you could bring in anybody to this team and pair them with Embiid, and they'd still win, Grant. Oh, they got a solid roster, but there's no denying that Embiid is the heartbeat of this team. The 76ers go how Embiid goes, kind of like our broadcast with you. And in the last five seasons, they've gone to the playoffs. Harden, the pass to Harris. Now Embiid, guarded by Durant. 
Embiid against Durant. The jump hook. Embiid can't hit. And so it's Durant who brings up the ball for the Suns. They trail by three. A tough loss coming against San Antonio in their last game. And the win was there for them, but they just let it get away. Just couldn't make enough plays late. And you know, those are the kind of games that sting and that bad taste lingers. Knowing you were in it, but not coming through down the stretch, out, that, those are hard to get over sometimes. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly that was their game plan coming in. Phoenix calls timeout. And Grant, while James Harden is no stranger to trade requests, the Sixers front office, no stranger to him either. And they've shown the patience to wait for the right deal before. In the meantime, there's the business of winning games. And the 76ers will have a different look here. Bamba's checked in for Embiid. Reed comes in for Tucker. Oubre, he's checked in for... Substitution on the court. On the floor for Phoenix. They've got Devin Booker. He's out there with Eric Gordon. Josh Okoge is out there with Drew Eubanks. And it's the chosen one in it to force line. The Suns trailing. That one's good. Give the assist to Booker. Such confidence as a passer. He hits guys in stride. It makes it look easy. Pass to Harris. Inside. Here's Embiid. Embiid elevates. Yeah, that's good vision from Harris. I mean, he draws so much attention himself, so he's become a capable passer. Gordon outside. Here's the chosen one. It's Booker on the wing. Pure from three-point range. Booker's got five now. He's a producer. It's part of their plan to get him as many touches as possible. Pass to Oubre. Here in the second quarter, a little over a minute of play. Well, Phoenix is shooting just 35% from the floor. Gordon outside. Back to Booker. Down low. It's stolen by Oubre. Here's Harden. He's coming off a 13-point game against Toronto. Boy, he was piling up those assists in that one. I mean, every pass seemed to be on time and on target. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Brian, the new leadership for the Suns is proving to be aggressive right from the jump. Within days of new ownership taking over, the blockbuster trade for Kevin Durant was executed. The luxury tax bill increased, but the message from the Suns' top brass was we're focused on winning and not money. Money follows success, B.A.? No doubt about that, and with Beal in the mix, they are all in. Harris outside. The Suns clear it. And here in the second quarter of action, just a hair under two and a half minutes played. And this summer, the Sixers making changes on the bench. Grant, the mission statement is clear. Make it past the conference semifinals. Oh, so clear, B.A. And while that's been the stumbling block in recent years, I'm not sure even that's good enough. This is a team with legitimate championship aspirations. Harris, right side. Oh, nice fake, but the layup's off the mark. Boy, that defense smothered him in there. Love the intensity. Here's Booker, and it's Phoenix with another. A silky mid-range jumper by Booker, attacking without any hesitation. Pass to Harris. One fifty-one left to play in the first half. That's no good. He's 0 for 4. The Suns have gotten off to a sensational 5 for 5 start in the second quarter. And he'll take a trip to the line for two. Clearly got fouled on that shot. And there's the foul against Philadelphia. Out of the gate, some guys tend to start strong, Grant. Others take a little time to warm up. Which group did you align with? Yeah, good question, B.A. You know, I, I always liked to start the season strong. 
And a lot of it goes into your preparation. What are you doing in the off season? Are you ready when we get into training camp, the preseason? You know, all of that building to opening night and really establishing yourself within the team and also throughout the league right from the gates. Here's Harden. And they cash it in right away with a quick shot. Harden's got six points. Not the best of shot selection there, but you know what? You do not look the gift horse in the mouth. Melton against Durant. Durant puts some moves on. Beal, the pass to Booker. To the paint. Here's the chosen one. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Showing great intensity around the rim is part of why he's a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just uh, against his constitution. Beal surveying the D. No good that time. Oh, excellent D there from Harden. And Harden's got the ball here for the Philadelphia 76ers. And that one's good. Melton. Whether he's on or off the ball, Melton's a threat. There's 42 seconds left in the first half of this game. Beal, the pass to the chosen one. Pass to Durant. To the inside. Can they get it? He hits the back iron and sinks it. The chosen one's got five points now this quarter. It was a rough start for them scoring the ball, but they look like now they're really finding their rhythm and flow. Yeah, it looks like they've gained a little bit of confidence as the lid has come off the hoop. Tremendous individual play. I mean, challenging the heart of that defense. Maxi against Booker. Over Maxi. Another one falls for Phoenix. What else is new? Booker, one of the best shot makers in the game. Still underrated in some circles. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. The Sixers on top. They're up. If you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Boy, we're seeing a tremendous game from Devin Booker. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. At forward, it's Harrison Tucker. Maxi out there with James Harden. And it's Embiid in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. Even with the defender draped all over him, Durant locked in and laser focused to get that one to go down. Here's Harden. Another shot. Embiid muscles through the contact. That'll drive your coach crazy, failing to box out. Ugh. Those are free points you're giving away. You gotta work harder on the glass. Durant, the pass to Okogi. Here's the chosen one. Embiid covers. Here's the chosen one. Rebound by the 76ers. Embiid's got his fourth rebound in this one. You know, Grant, thinking back to those 2021 finals, the Suns coming so close to their first championship. Think about it, B.A. Phoenix had a 2-0 lead over the Bucs, but Giannis then decided to take over. And still, I think that taste of the finals was great for Devin Booker and the Suns. Pass to Booker. To the paint. Here's the chosen one. That one doesn't drop. Embiid with a nice defensive effort. And here is Maxi. He's got six. Oh, denied by Durant. Affecting the shot right there. The length of Durant, a problem for the offense. Pass to the chosen one. Yes, and it's Booker with the setup. Booker's got four assists in the game. Philadelphia's gone four of eight from three. A nice percentage. Now here's Harden. 
Unloads. Okogi pulls down the board. Well, you know he wants that one back. I mean, more often than not, he'll sink that mid-range jumper. The chosen one shot is good. That's simply an outstanding play, working the size mismatch right at the rim. The Sixers leading. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Back to Harden. Takes a three. And it's Devin Booker with a rebound. Booker's got six rebounds here tonight. Up top, Durant. The offensive rebound. Nice shot by Okogi. Okogi. That's his heads-up play on the glass by Okogi. Not only did he retrieve the rebound, he scored as well. And the 76ers call time here. And we've heard players asking for more clarity and accountability from the officials. Grant, you think they have a point? Well, players often ask refs to explain calls. So they also want some clarity from the league. He's checked in for Philadelphia. Harden comes in for Melton. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. And so in the game for the Suns. The deadly duo of Beal and Booker at the one and the two. Kogi and Durant, they're the forwards. And it's the chosen one. In it to five down low. Maxi passes to Embiid. Clock at six. Shoots over Beal. Second chance effort. Embiid can't hit. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. The chosen one shot is good. 51 seconds left in the fourth. Harden against Beal. And now we've got an intentional foul. And the 76ers with some changes. Tucker comes in for Reed. And Tobias Harris subbed in for Oubre. Substitution for your 76ers. 43 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Down low. Here's Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. <laughs> they have a relentless mentality. Even with the game in total control. And you know, until that final buzzer sounds, I mean, you've got to treat every possession like it's crucial. Booker against Maxi. Booker, the pass to the chosen one. Pass to Durant. Down to five on the shot clock. And it's good. And now they trail by just four. Well, in my mind, KD is one of the top ten all-time guys that you want taking that shot. His length, his ball handling, his shooting, and his confidence makes him huge in late game situation. And so both free throws good. And it's a six point ball game. Extending the team's lead to solid execution at the line. Phoenix calls timeout. They trail by six. 17 seconds left to play in the fourth. All right, guys, what do you think? The game's not quite done yet, but they need points right away. Yeah, but they've got to score and then foul immediately. And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Joel Embiid. Well, you know, it's easy to understand why he's the choice given how well he shot the ball. I mean, just shooting an insane percentage really is what led him to this award. And it's because he was also actively looking to score. He was hunting his shot and was knocking them down. Three-pointer, Beal. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Now Harden. And that's an intentional foul. Yeah, no choice but to foul in that situation. Although, that's not the guy you want to send to the free throw line. But there was no time really to be selected. Stopping the clock was the priority. So it's Philadelphia picking up the win. Even early on in this game, they appeared happy to be playing at home. And it makes a huge difference. Once they started to get into a groove, you never really felt like they wouldn't come out on top. 
And that'll do it, folks. Thank you. For Allie LaForce, Mark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching the NBA, brought to you by 2K Sports. So long, everyone.